right, y'all. Another episode of After Class, the Queen's podcast only. It's the Queen and the King. Starring the King. Yeah. <laughs> we do not have the Queens up in the building, so, so don't, don't say, say what's, what's up. up. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> we are missing Jazz because she got some business business to take care of. We are missing Sis because she went to she went home, but I want to shout them out. Oh, that's where she at? Yeah, she well, went back home to North Carolina. Um, that's what's up. For our family stuff, or just That's to like why take the a break. City feels so great. Oh my God! Uh, and sis, here's this. <laughs> you guys don't know me and sis. We have the, we just have the classic sister brother rivalry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Tally and Tally and sis just be going off, and I'm just in the middle chilling. Yeah. Um, but I thought that this was a perfect time for us to have a conversation, honey. Yeah. yeah yes, yeah. we got honey up in the building. Say, Say what's, what's up, a. Yeah, up, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you were in the last episode because yeah. we actually were not here in L.A. last week because or was it last week or two weeks ago? I think it was like two weeks ago. When the Greek, the Greek situation, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was the last episode to drop was when we were talking about your Greek life and how that was going with Jazz and Isaac. Mm-hmm. By the way, if you guys are missing Isaac, uh, <laughs> because we thought we thought that we were gonna first of all we thought that we were going to like not show him but he Mm -hmm. showed the whole episode so now people know what he looks like yeah we we, and then they thought and then we thought that that he was going to be like a part of you know every single show because i thought we were gonna stay at the studio that we were at but turns out that we were not so blah blah blah. but shout out to you isaac if you're watching this and anybody who's listening Yeah, anybody who's watching or listening wants to see Isaac again. He will be back specifically for like his special. We episode. we working on some stuff, so trust me, he'll be back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he he him and Honey are like really close. Yeah, so yeah. whatever the situation is, but this is a me me and Honey episode. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, let's yeah. tell them. So we went to Mexico. We were actually we were gone. Mexico. That's why we Mexico was lit. Yeah, that's why we released that episode. Cabo specifically. Cabo. We went to Cabo. Yeah. Um, that was our first time there, mm-hmm. and it was a great trip. It was. It, it was, was well. It was a fucking tiring ass motherfucking trip because <laughs> we were working the whole time because we are scouting places for our wedding. Yeah, it turned into an action packed itinerary from top to bottom. Our wedding planner. He, 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 he. Shout out he to you, Troy Williams. Up. Troy Williams in the building. Mm-hmm. Um, he uh, just had just the perfect setup for us to go from place to place to place. And normally on vacation and we travel, you know me, I like to kick back, relax. And it was to none of that. Wind. <laughs> I was just <laughs> telling my best friend, people who are watching, I was just telling my best friend, Yessi, like, we thought that it was going to be a place for us to, like, get it popping, get it going, like, lovey dovey. Get a groove back. <laughs> you know what I'm we thought that we was going to eat. But that was a no. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> we were so tired every single night. So night. yeah, it just it was it was it, but it wasn't. Yeah. So we gotta go back. It was it was it was it for a different reason. Mm-hmm. Which actually led us to now like we've come come back and we've kind of been a little more prone to going out, finding different places to go to. That's what, yeah. You know, we like that vibe of like, you know, it's, it's so perfect when you go on vacation, you have your nice, beautiful room or whatnot, and then you and your partner, y'all, or your friends, y'all go out, do what you do, and then you come back. You know, you report back to headquarters, and then you go and experience. So, like, we like that vibe. So we kind of brought that back to L.A., you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We, we come home. You know, we do our thing and then we're like, all right, what are we doing for today? Well, let's let's set a little itinerary. Yes. And that's so good that you bring that up because because when we're on vacation, y'all, it's like everybody is there to like do nothing right and relax and just like this is their vacation time. But mm-hmm. what we want, we're changing that lifestyle because it's like when we're on vacation now when we're in Mexico but then once we go back home we're still on vacation because yeah. we in fact love what we do mm-hmm. for quote unquote work we so we're we always on vacation it's just yeah. like we taking vacation somewhere else and mm-hmm. that's what we want our lives to be and I think that's what everybody should try to pursue is like being on vacation whether you're home in reality or mm-hmm. you're home you know, or I'm sorry, if you're on vacation out of town or whatever the situation mm-hmm, is. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we did um, kind of take that up. And yeah. for every weekend, we're going to try to find a new restaurant. Yeah. 
and just explore and see some and like go somewhere experience different. something go somewhere different yeah because tally and i are very much people who like home bodies home bodies and once when we find a restaurant that we like bitch that's it oh, like yeah. we're just gonna go oh, there yeah. every single week every single weekend until we get tired of it until we have to find something else bitch find out one or two things on the menu and ride <laughs> that mother out, out. <laughs> <laughs> but no i kind of like want... the radio like the, when a good song come out they play they don't they have the radio has no shame Right. They will play a song three times in a row for that ass. Yeah. Go to commercial and people are break eat and it up, come though. back. Yeah, and then people are going to eat it and up. And then play the remix, Chopped and Screwed. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, no, because I get so embarrassed because people be asking us, like, what is there to do in L.A.? Where do you guys like to go? Ziggy, Ziggy, And, we don't, we, and like, we don't fucking know. We don't know L.A. All we do is just know freaking, like, what we do, and that's it. And I think that's boring. A couple places we eat. And the studio, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I know where all the dance studios at. <laughs> right, exactly. All the dance well, studios. Well, all the acting studios, too. <laughs> <laughs> all, where, all the places <clears throat> to audition. Right. All the places <laughs> to steal a shot. Right. <clears throat> but no, Mexico was great. And we yeah. really think that hearing it See, first we just did a whole Africa. Kanye just now. We just went on a whole tangent. Yeah, but I know we how went, to bring it back. See, we I'm bringing that, it back now. I'm wrapping it up. We See? went through four rabbit holes. <laughs> Came back. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't that bad, bitch. If you guys ever, if you guys watch the Kanye and Joe Rogan um, podcast episode, it's oh lit. my god, watch it. But you haven't even finished it, so you can't. I even didn't say finish that. it, but I, I, I just, I get it, and I, I, I get him. It's funny we were talking about this right before we started. I, it's funny watching him because of how his brain works and everything. I get it because I do the same thing, and I'm like, damn, I have to start staying focused on what I'm, what I'm talking about. And making sure that, like, everybody understands what I'm saying. Because my mind, of course, I know what I'm saying. And I jump from subject to subject. But the person sitting across from me is like... I was, I felt so bad for Joe Rogan, you guys. I yeah. was just like... But Joe's smart. He gets it. No, and, no, and he did. Because yeah. there was one point where Kanye was like, do you... I, sorry, I'm going off on a, on a, on a tip or what? Uh, I'm going, on a, going off on a rant. I'm sorry. Like, how do you, how do you listen mm -hmm. to then ask me a question? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, how do you ask a valid question off of what I just said? Because Joe Rogan is an amazing um, host. Yeah. And, and he knows how to interview. Right. And he knows how to listen. Some people don't know how to listen. Right. So True. what it is, is you're talking to a person that is stringing together a series of information that all connects. All connects, right. And, yeah, that's what and, it's, and you have to pay attention enough and stop thinking about what you're going to say and listen so that you can get that person's full idea. Right. You know, where one person may deliver one sentence very clearly and concisely, mm -hmm. Kanye is going to put five together that's going to ma have more weight than the one that was so mm. quickly given mm -hmm. or whatever. That, and I, I say that because I'm biased because, I, you know, I'm like, you know, defending them, but I'm biased because I do the same thing myself. And I like it because <laughs> that's a mind of a creator and a, yeah. and a mind that can, like, see from all different perspectives and angles. And I love it. And there was one point where Kanye was like, what did I just say? Mm -hmm. And I would be and then in my head, I was like, I don't fucking know. Like, I would like Kanye would hate <laughs> me right now because I'm literally just what sometimes I just literally just. I'm not listening to Tally. I'm just looking at it because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm already so far gone. Mm -hmm. But it literally was very impressive to like listen to Joe, like kind of wrap up all of you know what he funny. said in 10 minutes yeah. in one little sentence. You know what's funny? I can tell when you go to that space. I really? Can, it's a look on your face like this, <laughs> like <laughs> blankness. It's like, you're, and, but it was, it's funny because I used to be a little self-conscious. I used to be like, she's probably thinking in her head, if you don't shut up. That's but what, but that, then I check in with you. In my head, honey. I, but but no, I, I check in with you and you be like, <laughs> oh no, I'm actually good. Like you know, what I'm saying like no, I'm I, I am listening. So it's it's two phases. Sometimes you really are listening. Sometimes you do get to that point. But I've been more aware of when that <laughs> when that line when that switch hits and it's. Like, I keep okay. telling my honey because I get very. I'm so protective over him and I just know how he works and I know how he talks and I know how he like I use I fucking hate it when because Tally is the type of person where like if somebody gets into the elevator with us, he'll say hi, which is like a normal person thing to do, you know, or like when he. How dare I? Yeah, right. So he's like the person to kind of like put himself out there and I fucking hate it when the other person doesn't say hi back. I fucking hate it. But I don't know see, why. I, it doesn't register to me whether that person speaks back to me or not. I know, but it's like, respect my fucking man. 
respect him and like don't and like if we're at a restaurant or something like I don't know Tali is just different and and he's just it's just about tapping in and out of like who is really getting mad the 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 idea of Tally the the my ego that's the person that's that's really offended and mad but if it's like I it <laughs> that that one interaction whatever you say and do in that one moment has no bearing on my day yeah and well either way I just want people to respect <laughs> him <laughs> and so like and so what was the point that I was gonna make I um, there she goes see see. See, she's doing it too, y'all. It's a big deal. <laughs> no, I it's, was going somewhere. It's contagious. That's what I meant to say. Oh, well, I was trying, the beginning of our relationship, I was trying to teach you, like, to know, to, like, judge well. Know when someone is really taking in your information and is, like, listening to the great things that you're saying. Judge and, not. And know when people, when people are just off, like, mm-hmm. are just not hearing it. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why he knows when I'm really listening and when I'm not, because i I taught him to be very aware of that. You're mm-hmm. like my dad too. Like you guys can just talk and talk and talk and talk. And it's mm-hmm. like, is it even worth speaking all of those ideas when that person is not really taking it in? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So, so you have better judgment now. Yeah. Great. So we know that going in. So back, <laughs> back to our <laughs> wedding. So I think that we're going to do it in Mexico, right? Yeah, I think yeah, Mexico is Yeah, fuck it. I'm just ready. I'm just we ready. We started to... off, th- this is, that's where we started from the jump or whatever. The idea was to have a destination wedding, somewhere beautiful, gorgeous, whatever, make it more of an event. We're, we're more of like eventful people. Like we like to go and do things and have an experience. Um, a gift is nice too or whatever, but I feel like the experience is something that, you know, that memory will never fade. It shouldn't fade. No, absolutely. So, yeah, we, we we started there and then we went on the the tangent of having it somewhere else and somewhere more local. Um because we we it's so many for things our to consider. To not have yeah. to travel so far. Part of it, of course, the wedding is for us, but at the same time it's for the people who represent us and our families and friends. So we want to find a happy medium of um for us of making it making it good for everybody, not just us and not just them you know some people do their wedding and it's all about everybody else some people do their weddings only about them we want to have the, the, the balance right yeah and i think mexico is it because it's not like it's really close to la for the people who um who don't know it's like very close to la it's like a two hour three hour flight so and it's just like tally is gonna have so many people to invite technically not really yeah you are what do you I mean, mean not really well, because you have of, so many. He's but the thing d- is, his what, side is way bigger than mine. But what I'm saying is, or what I'm trying to say is, with COVID, we can't invite that many people anyway. So that alone, pretty much, just kind of like, you know, narrows down my list. You mm-hmm. know, there's a there's a certain protocol of groups of people, and then certain people within those groups have protocol over some other groups. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, people be like, I fully agree. People will figure out a way to make it, bitch. Like, this is probably one of the biggest days of our life, and Mm -hmm. we're probably thinking in our head, like, yeah, they're probably going to be scared, or they're going to, whatever the situation is, but they're going to be like, bitch, we're going to find a motherfucking way to get these vacation days Early to cool. make it to I'm Ali a, and Tali's uh, wedding. Everybody who I invite, I, I and they're I hope gonna that they and, make it. and then we're gonna be like, shit. Why is it, actually, why is it scary? It's I don't not, know. Yeah. Because I'm trying to keep that number down. Do you guys realize the keep more it down. People, the a, more people set that a you, number and stick to it? I know. Well, that's you know not that's not how Libras planning work. a wedding is a spiritual exercise if you make it one because it's a lot of decisions that you got to make. <laughs> it's a lot of tough decisions that you got to make, and you got to you got to guard your energy. You got to watch your energy as you go through it. If you're like, oh my God, it's gonna be so stressful when I do this, that's exactly what it's gonna be. You're right, but I'm still going. I'm I'm still no that's matter your choice. It is. It is. It is your choice. It's my choice to be stressed out. It's your choice to be stressed out. Yeah. Ultimately. No, I fully. <laughs> but sometimes that makes it fun. Some people I love the stress agree. and the drama. I fully agree. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to like to plan stressed out because it's yeah. like you're almost under pressure. You're and then a it gets spontaneous you to do it. performer. You like to. You don't care to show up and be like, "Yo, you go on in five minutes and you got to do a." Remember, we did we did that before. You we put a show together, like thirty minutes before the show because it was supposed to be like a whole hour or two hours remember mm-hmm. 
and we didn't you didn't know but you i was like damn what's she gonna do she you was in it you was like all right i'm gonna do this first i'm gonna do this you, you put it right together and we we you pulled it out damn that's right one man band <laughs> yeah sometimes it works like some i'm just i'm a person that that is a last minute person like yeah. even for Halloween like how do how do you feel about Halloween I I continuous to, continuously continuously feel this way about Halloween <laughs> fucking Halloween <laughs> go away <laughs> I'm definitely not a, like a Halloween person yeah. but then I'm on social media and I'm seeing all of like my friends like doing it up getting their outfits and I'm like fuck I'm not even participating there's one side of me that's like bitch i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do anything and i'm gonna choose to spend halloween the way that i want to spend halloween yeah and then i get sucked in and then i'm like honey why are we not doing anything for halloween and then look it happens because it'd be it, and it, it's be it'd be the last minute that you finally say all right let's do something we've right. done that for like three or four years in a row right anyway i feel like i mean you don't really have any like hang-ups about halloween right do you have any like hang-ups about Halloween, like spiritually, religiously, or anything like that? Mm -mm. No, no right? I don't. So, okay. So it's that's not a problem. Effort. We're going to X that out. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. It's the effort. It's the effort. I can tell you right now. It's the effort of finding the costume. But look at the effort that you finding go through the makeup, to like... Finding like maybe the couple, like what are we going to be as a couple? Yeah. There's just so much. And then you going know to the Halloween store and it's all crowded and shit. And all right. All the good costumes okay. are gone. Your sizes are gone. Like, bitch, I'm not dealing with that. Is it making a choice? Is it having to decide what to be? Yes. And then find too. it? Yeah. My Libra syndrome goes off. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, see, it's much deeper than just, <laughs> <laughs> look, we're diving deep. He's really breaking me down. Here. Okay, I wish we had a couch. Mm -hmm. So you can just lay down on the couch. I would have been a psychologist, uh, psychiatrist. No, if, uh, yeah, you would yeah. have. In another um, life, you probably so are. it's it's got part to do. It probably has a little part to do with that. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know. You just like when everybody's doing something and everybody's on something and everybody's like, "This is the thing. This is the thing." You have this natural rebellion in you that's like, "I don't need that thing to be like All everybody right. else." All so right. you kind of like. You kind of like mm, shrug it off, mm -hmm. and everybody's always on Halloween and on certain things, and then you kind of just like, mm, whatever, you know. If I, I'm not gonna try too hard, you know. what I'm saying if you do do something, you're not gonna like try hard, and Which, then you're gonna kill it, and then it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be like, yo, we didn't even try. Mm -hmm. A couple years in in a row, we we haven't even really tried, and we just knock it out the park. Right. Yeah. So maybe that's it. I don't know. It's all of that. It's all of that, to be honest with you. But what do you think? Okay, so I just got an idea. I literally just got an idea yesterday okay. of what I want to do for Halloween. And you know what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? It's going to be a surprise, y'all, for the people who are watching and listening. Brilliant. I thought of, I thought of something that I would like to do for, for to honor Halloween. But it's, it's kind of like not Halloween-y. Like, this is what spooky. you you found something to hook you into Halloween. Yeah, that's what everybody has every, done. Right, everybody right. finds the thing that they actually want to do and be that that makes them actually enjoy it. So you just had to find it. Right. You don't want to dress up as a ghost. No, I don't. No. I don't want to put on ugly ass makeup. You don't want to be a vampire. But it is, but it is kind of cool though. You want to be a vampire? No, I've, a unicorn. No. Mm -mm. Cereal box. We do have this party cereal box. <laughs> yeah, they have them. We do have this party. Cinnamon toast crunch. Honey. Sorry. We do have this party that's gonna go on this Saturday. Oh yeah, it's going down. I don't even know who to invite. I don't. Ugh. See. All right, we're just gonna drop the address in the first. Uh, <laughs> I know. Seriously. <laughs> first no, really to get close. There to get in. No, I'm seriously. And the the day that this episode goes live is probably is the day that the party is gonna go on. I think. Yeah. I don't know. It's just effort. I would just mm -hmm. like when I. Once when I'm up there, like a little more up there, I'm going to have a team. That's why a team is so important. a little important. more up there? When I have more money to spend on other things other than what I have to spend right now. Okay. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. I would like a team to put together parties and do the invites and do all of like the logistics behind the scenes stuff. Hire my Who, glam team. Somebody, do your I'm sure somebody out there does this. Do your research. And someone out there is looking for an opportunity to do this on a level mm. that will put them in prime placement for that business. Mm -hmm. DM my queen and let's see what we can do. Yes.
Thank you. Yeah. And that's exactly why we have this platform. Mm-hmm. Did um, we finish talking about Cabo and the wedding? We did finish talking about, yeah, we yeah. went straight into Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, all in all, Cabo was amazing. The weather was great there. We were there at, the, at a good time of the year. Um, we got to see the different levels of what their resorts looked like. So that was pretty cool. We're going to have an episode for y'all on the uh, Brinson's YouTube channel. Excuse me. We're going to drop an episode on um, how we do love the Brinson's YouTube channel uh, with that vaca- that vacation. So, you know. Yeah. And you know what? Let us apologize to all of the people, um, all of our Brinson following for our YouTube. And if you guys don't know, we have our own YouTube channel that we are slowly but surely. It was one of those things building. we just had to start. Just, just we to just start had to, it. We just yeah. had to begin. We yeah. just had we, just we weren't quite ready to do like the <laughs> <I'm> trying to <laughs> figure out hot no. We had we had to begin. No, we we hard. No, it's not hard. We had to be <laughs> hard. Are you hard? We had to begin <laughs> our YouTube channel. Yeah. But does that mean that we're like all of a sudden YouTubers? No. Yeah. It was yeah, like we said, it was just one of those things like we need to just get this started, have it in place right. so that when we do things that that are appropriate for it to go there cuz there's so many people that love so many different aspects of us and this is how we feel about other people who we follow. We love different aspects of them. So an uh, aspect of us is our relationship. An uh, aspect of us is when she's just doing her thing, Queens and Lettos. An mm-hmm. uh, aspect of us is when I'm doing my thing. So we want to give you guys different lanes. So if you ain't trying to see, I know some of y'all fellas, y'all don't want to be seeing me all up on my fiance, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's the place you can go and you can just see me not in the picture. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. I'll let you have that. That's, that, that's all you can get. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you have that. <laughs> That's it. That's my piece. That's my contribution to your world. Yeah, and I know that there's women. I know that there's women too watching you like, damn. Fuck. Does Aaliyah even deserve that shit? Damn. Aaliyah just t- took the last one. <laughs> the last airbender. <laughs> right. Yeah, but um, Either but yeah, way. nah, we want to give everybody they 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 lane. Either way, so. either way, like we said, we have this YouTube channel um, and we want you guys to go check it out. We're slowly but surely building it. And we literally and we found a team that's going to help us with the production and editing and stuff, because that's literally why it takes so long for us yeah, to release a YouTube turnaround. video. The turnaround time. Hey, that's an episode by itself. Being an influencer, or being a YouTuber, Instagram, TikTok, or like. A lot of people. Oh yeah, it's a some job. Some people y'all. in the in the regular nine to five world, they look at people in the social media space as like uh, they don't take them seriously. But it right. is a it's work, right? And you got to do it. It's work, and nobody's gonna do it. You either got to pay for it, or you got to do it yourself, mm. or That's bad. create some type of value to exchange mm-hmm. with somebody who can mm-hmm. do it. You know what? You're yeah. so right. Sometimes, sometimes I'm just like, fuck this sucks i need to go on vacation and i always need to have something recording i always mm-hmm. need to have like we oh i need to take a picture sometimes remember honey i would not wear makeup all day during this vacation and then as soon as dinner came i would you know put something Bow. on make sure we get a picture and then and then take it all off yeah so i only wore my makeup for like an hour or so just to sit down with yeah. him to take my picture and then take yeah. it off. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. And then this sometimes when sucks. I like, when I know that we, because I'm more like production minded. I'm yeah, like, you I are. I know we need to get this footage, but I know that when you don't put that makeup on and you don't put whatever, I'm like, not doing you're not shit. trying to be on the camera. So I'm like, all right, I can't really shoot right now. She's not gonna want to, and I don't want to waste my time because now I'm not present. I'm shooting you, and I'm like, she ain't not gonna use this footage because I did. We did that. I did that a lot. Yeah. When we first got together and we were first like. Figuring this whole thing out. Yeah. I used to shoot all the time. And I right. used, to, used to be like. So annoid. <laughs> but so I'm like, annoyed. this is what we're supposed to do. This is what we're supposed to do. But and he's right. You're not, you're not that type of. No, I think I think I still have that balance. Like I was telling, I was telling Yessie, I still have that. No, I mean the person of, that just does it all the time and doesn't care. Like that's just, that is. I don't yeah. think I'm ever going to be that. I, I don't think I'm ever going to be that. I know. You're that. not. You're yeah. not. You're not. That's what I'm saying. There are people who, and not to take anything away from those people because they. They, they love it. They love it. This is like an instrument to them. This right. is a, This is their. It's an enhancer. It, yeah. Yeah. To like whatever. be on all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, I still have that balance. I think I live in a perfect pocket to where I'm known, but I'm not like. Mm hmm. 
like I'm known, but I don't think I'm like it's I don't like want to say famous. The difference between celebrity and, and fame. fame, right? Yeah. Like celebrity is like respected, you know, you have your own following, like you may get noticed once or twice down the street. Like we mm -hmm. got noticed in Mexico. I was like, yes, fans in Cabo. I was like, oh shit. So I really made it, you know, when mm -hmm. I go out of the country to teach, like people know me and it's like, it's crazy. But then I think famous people, they can't take not one step out of their house without mm -hmm. like paparazzi. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I would be able to deal with that. Like mm -hmm. the paparazzis, people like... Yeah, just like swarm I, I, of people, I, just like going crazy. I feel crazy like regardless, regardless of whatever word you choose, the the difference is being known and known of enough for you know where people respect you and some people want you know want to honor you and get a, a you know autograph stuff like that. And, and I then, love it. And then when you're a celebrity or you're a star, you're it's it kind of people hold you to a certain standard, and there's a value of just seeing you. There's a value of knowing where you are. There's a, that's when it crosses a certain line to where now people are are fulfilling their aims just by being in your space. Mm -hmm. That's when it's crossing the line. When you're, when you're famous, it's like, oh, there's so-and-so, so-and-so. It's cool. All right, cool. That was dope. But when you're a celebrity, we're going to follow this person. We're gonna, I want to know where they're going and, because we can make money off of their pictures. We can make money off of their reactions. We can make money off of what they, what they do, what they say. We can be the first to report what they're going to you know, that's 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 a certain level of um, information that you have given to the world. You're giving people that access mm -hmm. or whatnot. So, I mean, the, the, the territory does come with its pros and cons when you're talking about, you know, becoming famous and more popular and everything. Mm -hmm. Where does where is the line? Mm -hmm. Where's the line? Mm. I guess that's subjective. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different like. I line. think right now I would rather be where I'm at than like one of the Kardashians or something like. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in terms of, because I actually I think everybody would love to be with Kardashians, a bitch. Yeah. But no, what I'm but saying, not everybody can take it mentally. Right, like mentally, their whole life is just is just. And you got to be in a certain place. You got to be ready for it. Yeah, you like you can't go to. Just, I go hiking every single weekend with my family, and it's like that's like a nice time where I can just mm -hmm. be normal. Sometimes I go to the grocery store. Like I like going to the grocery store now by myself and yeah. like just grocery shopping for me and mm -hmm. you know, for me and Tally. And I'm just like, damn, I can actually do normal things without being bothered or without yeah. being reminded of like yeah. all of that. Yeah. But I, someone I, might, you I know? definitely feel more comfortable with you going out on your own now. Especially, well, when we first were together and you were still navigating and learning the industry, I used to be a little more, I was always by your side, not because of like what people would do and everything like that, more so the business uh, vultures, you know what I'm saying? People trying to come in and talk business to you mm -hmm. and get in and, you know, get you all in, in the stuff or whatever. Those are the people who are always more so like, you know, watching out, guarding for around, but your energy, your vibration is, is good when it comes to that. And the level of your success, it revolves around something that you've been giving to people. Mm -hmm. you're not famous for saying that you're better than everybody and you're the baddest bitch and you're the da 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 da, -da all this more masculine, negative, art, uh, you know what I'm saying, rivalry type of energy. Your energy is more of like, we're all queens, everybody's beautiful, Do live your dream. Boom, so it's boom, all boom. love so that comes to me. So your fans yeah, that I, that are I more attract. in tune to that nature or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it, it seems like the people who are in the media for the negative and dramatic stuff or whatever, if you kind of look at their content, their content kind of speaks that. It kind of speaks like, oh, I'm a, I'm, it's me against the world, da 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 And yeah, I see it, it is you against the world because every week, somebody, you fighting mm. somebody mm -hmm. or whatever. Every day you fighting somebody. And some people love that. Mm -hmm. Some people love to fight. Mm -hmm. That's your life. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, a, gotta, it, it's just attention and... Mm -hmm. I mean, regardless, to end this off, to like, I just don't want to confuse my universe. Me gaining more attention and more popularity means that I'm, I'm like, my success level is like still growing. It's still yeah. growing. Like, I'm not stagnant. I'm not, I didn't hit this like rock or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm still growing. So yeah. I welcome that in that sense. I welcome that. And to anybody, let me just get this straight. Anybody who's listening, I fucking welcome. If you recognize me down the street, if you see me with Tally or whatever the situation is talk please Speak. come up to me and say hi like i that's what my goal is my goal is is to always like 
to be so approachable and to mm-hmm. like s- still keep keep that same vibe, beach, that same energy. Like, don't be scared to come up to walk me, amongst I'm... kings, yet keep the common touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's you, really you... nice. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> Just don't come up to me and call me an entitled bitch. Rue. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Rue. Oh, gosh. That's all I'm going to say. That Greeks, the Greek stuff. Hey, so on that note, in terms of like, you know, what you stand for and what you're doing, like what you're, you're working on some things that are um, developing out pretty nicely. Yeah, ish. <laughs> Yeah, ish. I I think this whole quarantine, this whole quarantine and COVID really um, opened my eyes to other lanes. You yeah. guys know me for being a dancer and for the queen queens and lettos and all of that. Me putting on my heels, just me being on the dance floor, right? But now I think I have opened myself up to other lanes. One being music, one being um a, a what is it? A, a show producer, creative producing, creative pre- creative producing, um, and other lanes that will that will slowly like grow. It's not like it's very premature right now. Mm-hmm. Um, music. I have been in the studio a couple yeah. times, you guys, and for the people who she for got the some hits from y'all. my diehard people, she y'all got know some hits from my diehard people. Y'all know that I released that shoot as a song, Black Platforms on when I mm, yeah, but that was dinkle, yeah, dinkle, yeah, yeah. Dinkle, that was a great dinkle. song. That that's was a, a great song. yeah. That was like me warming up into and that's like I that had was a to great make it song very that was that was for what it was. But I really for. don't want to be. I don't want people, and that's why I was so like so hesitant in releasing it and doing it because Shoot Dazzle gave me that opportunity to yeah. like have my shout own out to Shoot Dazzle. Yeah, very shout out to shoot as well yeah. they gave me that opportunity to have my own song during my own national commercial who does that who was who's gonna fucking pass that up however i knew that music was something that i wanted to get into eventually so i'm like fuck is this going to <laughs> is this kind of going to confuse my following and letting them know like this is what my sound is mm-hmm. you know what i mean and the answer is no yeah, I have a whole. I'm fine, still finding my sound. Yeah, but um, the songs that I do have recorded with my producer Onassis, shout out to you, Onassis, and writer Myla. Um, these songs are just mm, yeah crazy. But I'm still yeah. very self. I'm very self conscious, which is mm-hmm. why I'm probably not gonna release it. And it's it so cute soon. because you know y'all see this this dragon fire of a woman who's always like out there and then it's something that she's a little like I'm so she's, but she's actually oh way she 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 doesn't give herself enough credit but um but yeah so we you know we we i think y'all y'all are gonna like it y'all and what like about it. you yeah same thing how do thing, you feel you know how saying? do you feel about um artistry and music because everybody i mean if you guys have been following us tally's like backbone i started in music, music. yeah and yeah. started in music i started in music so yeah. like so what's up yeah i mean i started in music as a musician and then i'm you know i'm a singer as well but i never really pr- pressed the gas in that lane because things took off in other ways in other you know acting dancing whatnot but like now i've been getting a sense of you know getting back to that because you know it's just where my like i guess my dna is just rooted in music and everything else just kind of stems from that so yeah i'm ready to get i'm i'm i'm, I'm back in there i got some uh, partners that we about to do some things with and then you know me and you're going to do our thing so music that's that's going well and then same thing like you said business ventures you know i'm i've, I've been really into um the world of like cbd cannabis products um um, this one company that uh, I'm working with a good friend is called Higher Flower, mm-hmm. and they make these bombs. And these are for like athletes, people who do you know athletic things. I actually brought some. These things, man, these are the cheat code. These are the cheat code to like any ailment that you have. Like you know, because I work out a lot, and you know, recovery is 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 key when you're talking about recovering. Everybody been home because of quarantine and exercising and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. These things are dope. And then, um, you know, my older sister, she is, you know, into that whole world of of Reiki healing and massage therapy, occupational therapists and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yo, this stuff is legit. The CBD is anti-inflammatory. Oh, yeah, and everything I've like used that, that once yeah. or twice. Let me see that. This honey. one's bergamot. Like he uh, the, the flavors are like the scents are like amazing or whatever. And then there's another one. Uh, Where's the van- cookie one? The vanilla. 
This one, this mm. it's like chocolate chip cookies. It's it's great. This is good stuff. So it's just mm. like a little bomb. But they make a lot of different products. So go check them out. We'll probably put their uh put their tag down in, in the, the um, in the description or something. It's I think there's higher a, flower. Is the four twenty in there too? No, just say higher higher flower. Higher flower. Yeah, guys. this stuff is 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 really dope. Oh my um, god! And if you want a uh, promo code, it's uh tally t a l l i e four two zero. So tally four twenty. Or whatever. Tally for twenty for a cute little discount. For a cute little discount, you know what mm. I'm saying. I always anything that's health oriented and you know getting people healthier and, and safer. You can you know you can do your research on these things. This is not like a lot of people don't want to use it because they think they're going to get high and all that kind Wish of stuff. Wish that was me, it's but not, you don't. Yeah, CBD and THC are two different things. CBD is not the hallucinogenic compound. So check that out. But like you know, get into different business, find different lanes. You know, different yeah, things that interest you. That's what you it know? is. Here's a bath bomb. I think. The CBD bath bomb, yeah. Mm. We might have to do this, do this one tonight. Mm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, God, so <laughs> fake. Um, yes, everybody looking to hire flower. I actually, now that he's showing me the tin, I actually have used that. And anytime that I had some kind of like some um, like when I'm sore from you working out too. or bruising or literally anything, you can just rub that. You busting it there. on the floor. In class, doing windmills and heels and backflips, and y'all are like stunt women. Yeah, damn, I miss it. I fucking miss it. My first outdoor class was really great. Yeah, um, it was. It was. Yeah, my first outdoor class in person. It was very different, but at the same time, I felt like home again. Mm -hmm. And for the people who are asking, um, I don't know if it's going to be a continuous thing because like COVID is still very much a thing. I already know that and different studios feel different ways about it. And now that this outdoor space that I taught at kind of um, opened up, I feel like all choreographers are like going there now. Yeah. And it's like so it's definitely going to be, you know, harder to mm -hmm. harder to. It's do not. That. I think I think um, the industry is going to. I give people way more credit than. You know, a lot of people do, but like, you know, everybody's just making it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Seeing these these restaurants make these adjustments and people making things outdoors and everything like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I could tell you were you were you were happy. I was back home, in there. man. So I was fucking. Let's make home. that happen again. We'll make it happen again. But yeah. until then, you know, we still always have full out TV. Yes. Full out TV. Thank God for all full out. of my all of my live classes are on there. All of my tutorials are on there. So please go to fulloutTV.com and go and take yourself a class. Like whether I do it in person or not, full out TV is always gonna be there. Yeah. And if you type in after class. After class to, you know, one of the videos or whatever, you get a cute little disky can't see. Yeah. But um, this was great. Thank you, honey. I yeah. know I wanted to be here for like so much longer, but this you was know, a, this was different a good, schedules are happening. Yeah. We're going to talk like this all day. But I definitely want to get back. I want you by yourself again without mm -hmm. the girls because the girls kind of are like crazy. It's a different beach. vibe. It's a different yeah, vibe. it's a different vibe. So we'll definitely come back. I'm going to bring you. Thank you for coming in, honey, and being being on here. Um. Yeah. Any last minute? Any any last minute words or anything? Nah, man. To like hey, y'all just y'all just keep doing y'all thing, man. We just love to support everybody. Been supporting the king and the queen. Um, live your dreams. You know, love hard. You know, tell your family you love them. You know, eat eat your vegetables. And Brinson wedding. All that good stuff. Forever Brinson. Yeah. Forever Brinson. <laughs> uh, see you guys next episode. Peace.